Hey YouTube, it's Dimitri, and today we're going to talk about Data Visualization, A Practical Introduction by Kieran Healy here. This book was recommended to me on LinkedIn. Somebody just posted, hey, it's an awesome book. I just finished it for a class I'm taking, so I messaged them back, and I was like, all right, what would you rate it? And I think they said like five out of five or four out of five stars. So I bought the book, I read it, and today we're going to review it. Okay, so let's talk about what this book is not. This book is not a cookbook, and he states this in the beginning. So what I mean by this is it doesn't provide you with uh, like code and a really cool chart. And that code produces a really cool chart, and there's a bunch of these, and essentially you go through like a recipe, right? You find the recipe of code, and it generates some awesome chart, and then you just copy and paste it, and then make small justifications and like modifications to the code to make your data fit into it, to generate it. Um, that's not what this book is. This book is basically a theoretical book on plotting. It provides really, really good examples and code um, to show you how to plot things, but it more focuses on the theory behind plotting and charting. So why is this important? Uh, the book mainly uses ggplot2 and R, so it's an R book. Um, it does a really good job though of providing the framework of how you can adjust ggplot2 and how you can actually use that um, to do plotting. So it gives you the whole framework on how that works, how to adjust it, and how to use it for yourself to do what you want to do. Again, I'm not a fan of those people that just copy and paste stuff and then like it works and you kind of tweak things. This book will actually teach you how to use ggplot2 in great depth. But the book is really valuable in the sense that it teaches you a lot of theory and it shows you where you will be misled from different charts and plots. Um, I think one of the best examples in the book is using a y2 axis, so you have y1, your y axis, and the other side is a y2, and he gives real world examples on someone that published an article from a top financial institution, um, they had one data series plotted on the y axis on the left, and then they plotted one on the right, and they rescaled the one on the right, and essentially show there's a definite relationship between these, and <laughs> what ends up happening is it causes an illusion that they're related when they're not, and so he shows different workarounds on how you should actually go about comparing data. So you can do rescaling and stuff, but you need to plot everything on one Y axis. I'm not gonna go into detail on it. Anyways, he shows solutions on how to actually plot these out and view these in a more logical standpoint. And I think this is important because a lot of times we are using the Y2 axis incorrectly and it leads to wrong conclusions. This is just one example in the book. Um, he talks about different ways to plot things. So like looking at like a pie chart versus a bar chart versus like a horizontal vertical bar chart. Should you stack your bars? Should you have them side by side? Um, what conclusions do you draw? What are the mistakes you could draw from this? It's very theoretical, but it has applied code snippets and shows you key mistakes. So I would give this book a, probably for an introductory book, like a four out of five. I don't know if I'd give it a five out of five, I did really enjoy reading the book. I did enjoy actually doing some of the programming and the code inside the book to see it. Uh, but I really enjoyed the book. I think it's great for beginners and even those advanced in the industry because a lot of times we are making mistakes on the way that we're charting and plotting and things don't work out so well. So anyways, I give this a solid four out of five and I do recommend that you buy it if you would like to learn kind of the theory and best practices behind charting and plotting, uh, especially if you're using R. So anyways, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, until next time.